y'all so much for watching in and if you Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Orphea And I am back at you with another video So, for all of my new subscribers, welcome and welcome to the Trophy Nation. For all of my existing subscribers, boys, girls, thank you so much for your continued love and support. And for all of you who have not yet subscribed to this channel, you're wasting time. Stop it. Go ahead, hit that subscription button, and everybody make sure that you hit the post notification bell so that y'all can be notified as soon as I drop these videos. So... Before I start off this video, let's just let's just take a moment to bask in the fact that I was so consistent this month. Like I was so consistent this month and it was so hard because I had so many things that I needed to get done and um nevertheless I was still able to put those videos out, still was able to work, still was able to do all that. So I'm proud of me, y'all. I'm just proud of me. Okay, so for this video, starting now, moving onward, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start addressing the comments that I get based of, you know, asking you guys what you wanted to know more about. Now, the first comment I'm going to address is, uh, um, I'm not going to say the name, um, I'm just going to read the comments. So I'm looking over here on my computer and I'm going to read it. It says... Since you work online, how do you deal with nosy family members and friends who assume that you don't work since you are home? Because I choose to work from home for a few months and I have to deal with harmful nosy remarks from them all the time. Like I am a bum who's not doing anything even when all my bills get paid so when all my bills get paid i just added an extra word that was in there <laughs> okay so for this one i responded to the comment to which i basically said that um i need more details i need more specifications like where you from um stuff like that uh in order for me to answer this question if i answer it in a video it's going to be basically very general and it's not going to be tailored specifically for just you but i'm i know that you're not the only person who wants to know how to deal with this um but the first thing i like to ask is do you still live with them? Do you live with these people or do you live on your own? Because you said your bills are still paid. Your your bills are paid. So do you live with them or do you live on your own? That's one. Secondly, um like I asked where are you from just for context because different countries have different cultures and we can't just go all willy-nilly and say, you know, this is how you handle a situation when the culture is just completely different right so what i would suggest that you do um in asking those questions i got another uh response so i'm going to read that response that he sent me it says i'm from the united states i live in new jersey and just moved to a new town so i started working on a chat platform and I also do camming and my family consistently treats tears me up of for being jobless because I keep what I do a secret now the the truth about it is it's your business what you choose to do for a job it's not your you're not obligated to tell people what you do for work or what you do to make money you know you're not doing anything illegal you're not obligated to tell anybody what you actually do for a living so um but 
if you want to get them off your back you can just simply say you know I uh, do customer service um, I do customer service through texting um, I do customer service through calls you can say that I'm an online counselor you can say you know I work with if they ask you customer service with with what country with, with what company sorry if they say if they ask you a general question like because some people are really nosy so you go I'll do customer service oh with what company well I do customer service with an agency that you know basically um, pull contract from multiple people um, multiple companies across the globe right so that's that's how you answer that and, and, and just end it right there. Um, for me, how I deal with it, I don't care, boo-boo. <laughs> I have a whole YouTube channel about it. I don't care who knows what I do. I mean, it's none of your business. You don't pay my bills. You don't pay my bills. So, so what if you know what I do? What you gonna do? <laughs> you gonna stop buying me groceries? Oh, wait, you don't? You gonna stop paying my bills? Oh wait, you don't. Um, what are you gonna do? Like, what are you gonna do? Nothing. So, for me, like, I just don't care. I say what I do. I don't care. Um, some people, when they do ask me though, I'd be like, oh, I do customer service. And when they're like, oh, for what company or is it a call center? I'm like, no, it's an overseas company. And they contract us out and we work with companies across the globe. That's my answers, plain and simple, if I don't want to get into detail, depending on who it is. But besides that, I really, really don't care. But if you want to get these people off your back, you can just simply tell them that. Because that, to me, is a very easy way to, to get out of, you know, answering a question as to what you do as a job when you're a cam model or a text chat operator. Because really and truly, you're providing a service. You're providing customer service. And you have to provide top-notch quality customer service in order to get your clients to keep coming back. So you're not telling no lies when you say you do customer service. That's not a lie. You just don't tell them what kind of service you perform <laughs> for your customers. That's it. Um, as for the online counselor, like, think about it. How many times did you have to probably talk somebody off the ledge? How many times did you have to tell somebody, oh no, that's normal, oh no, you can't look at what people, how many times did you have to like basically coach and, you know, um, counsel and listen to these clients' problems and, you know, talk them through it? How many times did you have to do that? So saying that you are a counselor uh, that works from home online, um, you basically that's the capacity that you work in that you do because i listen to people's you know inner deepest darkest desires that they feel like they can't tell their family members and they come to me and they confide in me so i'm like the kinky bestie that you can tell anything to and you're not judged that's basically what i do and i get paid for it um and it's also a service that is being performed because now they have an outlet to share all their naughty bits and desires with and not, you know, feel judged or rejected by society because that's what society does. And for all the people out there who are saying that, oh, get yourself a nine to five, blah, 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 blah. Please remember, it's these nine to five people that be coming to us telling us all these things. It's these nine to five people that want this relief. It's not another cam model. It's not an. It's not a, another sex worker. I ain't never had um, a stripper or a porn star came across um, me and be like, "Oh, I need to talk about my job." No, I. It's always somebody from a nine to five. Um, contractors you know people who work in walmart walgreens people who work in um different grocery stores people who uh work high-end jobs i had like i had a legit doctor in my my shit like <laughs> i've had doctors i have lawyers 
Um, most of the times it's contractors that are in there, but um, that are talking to me and telling me their dish, whether it be with their personal life as it relates to their girlfriend or relationship or wife, or they're telling me about their family members, or they're telling me it, it's, it's one thing or the other. So there's no shame in the game by saying that you're a counselor that works from home and you are, it's a, it's a contracted job. Anybody ask you how to hook up with that, you tell them to go and sign up for Upwork. Tell them to go and sign up for freelancers and see what they can find. Oh, hook me up with your job. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> That's what I tell them. It don't work like that. You have to go on Upwork. And when you go on Upwork, you search through if there's any availability and if my company comes across whatever you know basically that's what i tell him that's what i tell him i can't just get you in like that um and that's what i did when i just started out but being that i'm now you know have this whole platform and have this whole thing i don't care but when i just started out and it was nobody's business what i did that's what i would tell him go to um what's the one called fair fairer Ugh, I don't I don't remember that one that I think it's F A R R. I don't remember if that's what it's called or F E R R. I don't I don't remember. I'll probably put it on the screen somewhere. But I tell them go go sign up for that. Go sign up for up, upward. Go sign up for freelancers. Go sign up for, you know, one of those things and look you up a job in there. That's what I tell them to in order to find um the job. So really if you want to get your family members off the back, off your back, tell them that. You're not lying. You're, ta you're telling the truth. You just didn't get into the specific details. So I hope this answered your question. I think this video was long enough for this question. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the edits on this video and get it out to you guys. I know it's been a couple of days since I last post. Like I said, I had a lot going on. Um, so I'm going to try and get this video out to you. I still... I'm gonna respond to another video tomorrow. Um, so I'm, not, I'm gonna do another video responding to another comment tomorrow and um, see if I can get that up and out as well. Um, and then I know that I'm gonna have to do my video for my Patreon um, to get that out there on Patreon. The Raw on Sunset version of Camming. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get that out and put that on Patreon for the first. So I'm going to get all of that done, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you have made it this far in the video, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section down below. Um, follow me on Instagram, Twitter. All my social media platforms will be in the description box down below as always. And until next time, guys, I love you all. Bye.